Okay. Check, 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 check. All right, all right, all right. Hopefully you guys are ready for Latin Body Movement on Monday. Latin Body Movement Explain. My name is Eddie Perez from Viva Dance Studio here in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, hopefully you guys are ready for today. Again, uh, this class is my Wednesday class, which is Latin Body Movement Extreme. Um, but I get to explain a little bit more about what we're doing and making sure that we are uh, understanding the things that we do. So typically, um, in the beginning of this class, I was going really, really, really slow. Uh, now uh, I'm kind of still making it a workout. So if you do everything I do, you're going to be able to get a workout out of this, uh, even if we go slower, as long as you're using everything you're supposed to, whether it is your ankles, pointing your feet, working your muscles, we do a little bit of squat because I like to make sure that people get their legs straight, uh, strengthened. And um, also we do some arm work. We do some uh, neck, shoulders, uh, hip action. So if you're new to this, um, try to just keep up. Um, if uh, we go from slow to faster and you can't go faster, it is okay. Keep it slow. Keep it uh, at your tempo and whatever you can do is all I'm asking. Um, the idea for this class is to give you guys something to do something, uh, to give you something, uh, so you guys have something to do during uh, our uh, coronavirus uh, kind of quarantine thing. Uh, so again, do whatever you can. If you need to take a break, need to drink water, um, uh, please do so. So take your breaks if you need it and stuff like that. Um, and uh, don't hesitate to um, send us feedback um, at hi at vivadanstudio.com. Um, but again, this is just for you guys to stay uh, active and not to lose out on dancing. So this is a uh, class that deals with um, coordination, speed, stamina, strength, uh, coordination, uh, and just basically just dancing. So 
all the dances that we do and all the, the steps that we do, you actually do use um, for partner dancing. So um, you d you you're not going to do all of them at the same time, but you are going to uh, be doing steps that I personally do when I'm actually social dancing or competing. So uh, you'll get a taste a little bit of uh, social and a little bit of the competition aspect of dancing in a workout type of format. So without further ado, we're going to start. Um, and again, if you need water, I have mine uh, uh, available to um, to take if I need a little bit of a break. So make sure that you guys have yours and let's get started. Start out with the warm up. I'll put the music on and we can start. All right, so we're gonna start from the head down. We're gonna stretch it out a little bit. And again, we're just gonna go to the side, roll it down to the other side and go up and, ar and over. And up, down, front, side, up, side. Now let's go to your other side. So for me, it'll be my right. It's good to warm up your body. As my head comes down, I stretch my back. I kind of uh, create a little bit of a uh, hunching over so I can stretch my spine a little bit. And let's go back to the left. And right one last time. And just try to relax here. We're just warming up the body. And we're gonna look to your left, right, left, right. When you do this, stretch your neck out. This is what we use for spotting or turning. And we want to make sure that we're stretching our neck on either side. And I'm going from one shoulder to the other so I can stretch my neck and strengthen it. So when I am dancing and I'm turning and I'm spotting, Turning my head from side to side does not hurt it, okay? Now we're gonna do three spots. We're gonna spot the front and the side. Front, side, front, side, front, side, front, side. Just so you guys know, if you do this on Wednesday, this actually all goes faster. But I know I have some new people trying this out. So I'm going to try to make sure that they stick with us. Now side to side again. Right, left, right, left, right. And keep my tempo if you can, or do it at the tempo that you can. Now shoulders back, 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 back. So I'm just rolling my shoulders, stretching the chest and my back. Now let's go forward and forward. Forward, forward, forward. I'm changing weight just to start warming up my legs. And back, 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 back. Now just up, down with your legs, bending them a little bit. Warming up those glutes, those legs. Up, down, up, down. Notice that I push and Lift my ankle off the floor so I can warm up my ankles too. If you're a dancer or you want to be a dancer or you're doing dance moves, your ankles are something that is always ignored. Make sure you warm those things up before doing any type of dancing. Okay, we're still on the warm up stage. So start out with our shoulders, rib cage, and arms. Work our way to our hips and our legs, okay? So just the shoulders, hands on the, on the waist, so we can isolate. And forward, up, back, down, forward, up. Now with the left, forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down. So I'm going forward with my shoulder, up and back. And then the down is just me relaxing to neutral. Forward, up, back, neutral. Forward, up, back, 
neutral, forward, up. Now with the left, forward, up, back, neutral, forward, up, back, neutral, forward, up, back, neutral, forward, up, just the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice that I'm doing phrasing typically, which means we go through a full eight count. And now the right again. Forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, left. Two, three, four, five, six, right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last time on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big circles with the right only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now left. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now four on the right. Two, three, four, left. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Now alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just doing my right and my left. So I'm doing, these are called shoulder circles. Now let's move that rib cage side to side. One, two, 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 one, two. And again, keep your arms up and to the side. Now let's go circles with the arms. We're going to coordinate circles with our side action of the rib cage. If you can't do that, just keeping your arms here is fine. And if you can't do that, you can do this, which is an up and down with your arms, just to warm up those shoulders, work them. If they hurt, shake them out and come back up. The idea is that you push your body more than you think it can do. And circles if you can. All right. So again, the idea is that your body likes to say, I can't do that or I'm tired. My idea is that I work myself 120% so you can go as hard and as much as you can. Let's work those hips with merengue action. And what's going to happen is one knee is bent, one knee is straight. So a lot of people go, I cannot move those hips in a Latin fashion. Our Latin hips for Latin dances like merengue, bachata, cha-cha, and salsa mambo come from our merengue or our hip twist action. It's not really Santa Claus in the window going sideways with your hips. It's, and notice that this is me settling to the side. A lot of people go, I'm dancing in a salsa club or a Latin club. Stop it. And twist, my knee goes forward and the other one goes back like a bow. I pull one back and one goes forward. Notice that my hips start twisting. If you know this, you don't have to listen to me do this. Go with the rhythm of the music. This is for the people that are new. Again, I'm twisting. And one, two, one, two, one, two. When I twist, slow. Notice that my knee comes in, but it does not go across. I don't want to go to the bathroom. So forward, 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 forward. So one goes forward, the other one goes back. My hands stay here. They stay active. So if you want a social dance, typically you're holding somebody's hands or you're in a hold. So you wanna keep your arms active. If you run, your arms are here, they're not like this, right? So keep your arms active, which means keep them uh, next to you and away from your body. Don't go like this. I'm dancing. Put them out and make them work for you. So they're doing opposition to your hips. So again, um, one forward, one back. That's what actually gives me the rhythm of merengue. So 
Let's go to our left. Let's go to our right. Let's go to our left. Just because we don't have music doesn't mean anything. To our right. Now let's go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go back. Same action. Don't stop it. Forward. This music is rumba. And it's typically slow, slow, quick, quick, or slow, quick, quick. Side. Still keeping merengue action. One, two, one, two. Now we're going to use this action to do rumba. And we're going to do a box step. And we go slow, quick, quick, slow. And if you know better, use your arms. If you're just getting started, keep your arms like this. If you can do more, do more of your arms. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Timing in this song does not change. It's always that quick, quick, slow with your feet. Now go to the side. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. So my feet come together and they go to the side. Slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. So I'm, I'm going to do it sideways so you guys can see. One knee is bent, one knee is straight on every step. Quick, quick, slow. 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 It's merengue with a different rhythm. That's what most, dan most dances are. It's just a one, two, one, two, but a di different rhythm. Crossover, slow. Quick, quick, slow. If you don't know this, a crossover is when I step forward and I go back to the middle. Forward and back, forward and back, forward and side step. Forward and place, side step. Forward and place, side step. If you know your arms, you do 90 degrees on the crossover, which is here. Crossover. And when you're facing the front, our arms go 180, so you can work your arms and they start working your dancing. 90, 180. 90, 180. 90, and these are the arms. And now we're going to turn. Step, step, side. Step, step, side. To your right. And you're doing just a full turn. Face a window, go to your left, face a window, go to your right, face a window. Again, side basics, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. You wanna work your arms. Your arms go with the rhythm of the music. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Okay? Now this is a nice slow cha-cha-cha. If you know better, which means if you've done this before, don't be listening to what I'm saying. Follow my steps, but do it to the beat of the music and challenge yourself. If you know a little bit more, do those steps here, okay? So cha-cha in place. Starting with the right. One, two, three. Cha-cha one. Cha-cha one. Cha-cha one. Cha-cha one. Cha-cha one, cha-cha one, cha-cha one, cha-cha one in place, in place, side to the side, in place, in place, side to the side, in place, in place, cha-cha-cha. And again, if some of you are having trouble with this, good thing to do is look at the video after we're done and try to figure this out. I change our steps on and off, but some of these things are the same. Side to the side, in place, in place. This is your side basic in cha-cha. Now we're going to go forward and back. Now notice that I pass my feet. This is called running chasse. Cha-cha-cha. Step, step. Cha-cha-cha. I break back on my right. A break. 
is when I step back and I change direction or step forward and change direction. So a break step is a change of direction. Break step, cha-cha-cha, break step, cha-cha-cha, break step. And yes, you're learning some of the dance language. You break back, you break forward. So if you're dancing with someone in a club, it's gonna be smaller, in a social club. In ballroom, we really move a lot more. So in a place that has less space, your footwork is small. Four, four, forward, break. Four, four, forward, sorry. Forward, break, back, break. Cha, 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 and step and step and cha, cha, cha. Now we're gonna do a crossover. Same thing as rumba, cha, cha, cha. Some of these moves are the same. All that happens is we change the rhythm. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. I'm always trying to work my arms so they can look like I'm doing something rather than this. And if you, this is all you can do, that's fine. Cha cha cha. Step, step. Cha cha cha. And you can do whatever you like with your arms. They can go 90 and 80. Or you can touch, feel, touch your hips, whatever you like. Turn, step, step, four, one, two, three, cha-cha, one, two, this is different. The thing that I'm doing with my feet here, this is called a lock step. Cha-cha-cha, one foot behind the other. Cha-cha-cha, step, step. Cha cha, step, step. Cha cha cha. Cha cha, one, two, three, last two. Four, one. Cha cha, one. Four, one, two, three. Turn, last one. Side. Cha cha, one. Now we're doing only chasse. Cha cha, one. Cha cha, two. Cha cha, three. Cha cha, four. One. Working on the speed. Together, side, together, side, together, together, side. So there's two steps in place, one to the side. Cha cha, one. Keep up, keep it. Stamina. Two and three, let's do the cube. And two and three and. So the Cuban step, two and three and four and one. I go forward, back, forward, side, forward, back, forward, side. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Four and one. Four and one. Forward, back and forward, side. Forward, back and forward, side. With the right, then the left. With the right, then the left. Two and three and four and one. If you know better, arm. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Back to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lock. Cha cha one. Me talking and trying to keep my timing. Not good. Two, three. This is a lock again from the back. I lock back and I lock forward. One foot in front of the other when you do a lock step. Okay. Again, I'm already listening and I'm barely working out. So if this is you, again, you can take a break, get something to drink and keep joining us. This is gonna be for our hips. We're gonna work our hips, our arms. So there is no leaving your arms here. Following the arms is slow. Right, left, right, left. If all you can do with your hips is just go sideways, set them. What I want you to do is make sure you get from one foot to the other. That means that I'm pushing 
with my feet and my ankles. So if you look at my feet from the side, my heel is lifting because it's pushing me from one side of my body to the other. And notice that my rib cage goes to the side I push, right? To my left, my right. Now, because my rib cage is doing this, my arm goes with that rib cage. So my arm is moving for a reason. My body is sending my rib cage and my upper body to stretch. Boom, boom. If you know better, I wanna see your figure eight in the hips. So my hips are going forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. So if I did it sideways, my hip goes forward and back, forward and back. So it doesn't go to the other side until I go, I send that hip back, two. So I go forward and back, then I move to the other side, forward and back. Those of you who know what you're doing, don't slow it down. Keep that timing. This is again for the people that are just starting out. Forward. So you're doing a figure eight with your hips. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Again, if you can't do the figure eight, that's okay. And as a side note, to do these things that are very Latin in action, my feet are turned out. And all that means is my heels are in closer and my toes are further away, away from my center. Some of you are gonna have a tendency to want to do things like this, and the reason you look weird is because you're in a weird stance. We don't do anything in Latin like this. Don't look at any of the uh, singers that like to stand like that when they're singing a note. Feet are always turned out. Now let's put one foot in front, one foot behind. And again, you notice that my feet are still turned out. Back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Now switch feet, whatever was in front, put it behind, whatever was behind, put it in front. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, and switch. And switch again, last time. And to the side, side. If your arms can't coordinate with your hips, just leave them out, but they have to do something. They can't be down here, they cannot be down there. So if you know better, they go with your movement. So that's all your warm up. Now let's get into some of the more crazier stuff. So you remember the little twisting that we did before? So that was working on your slow muscles or your slow twitch muscles. Now we're gonna work on the fast twitch muscles, which means you're gonna target your abs, your glutes, your hip flexors, your knees. Now, when we go fast, my feet, my knees, and my hips all twist in the same direction when we go faster. Slower, my feet don't twist. So if I'm going slow, my feet don't twist. The faster I go, the more everything moves. If you've ever been skiing and you see that they twist their hips and their knees and their feet, that's what we're doing when we go faster. For this song, we're gonna go faster. So again, keep your arms active, keep them here. Let's twist. To the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, two, four, five, six, forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and left. Back. Twisting while you go back. Go forward is hard. Some people do it really weird. So this is something you wanna practice. Again, go forward. And go back. Now let's go faster.
And this is your pace, whatever you can do. So twist. Now look, my hips are twisting. Now we're gonna go out, out, in, in. In place. Keep the stamina. Twist. Breathe. Slow. Now we're going to do threes. One, two, three. One, two, three. You guys can do it. Keep it up. I didn't say this was just for stamina because I want to say it. Push your body. Keep going, even if you have to slow it down. Single. All right. I think I... <coughs> <sighs> got to breathe there for a second. All right, this is samba, not Brazilian samba. This is going to be more on the ballroom side. Let me make sure that this is the song that I want for that. Yes, it is. So again, yeah, we're going to go one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the side. One, a two. So a whisk. When I say a whisk, my foot goes side, behind, side, up, behind. I go up, down, up, down, up. So this is a whisk. Notice that my foot went behind. One, a two, one, a two. Notice that on my one, I leave my leg out and then I pull it in. Out, nice and straight so I can work those muscles. And then I bring it in. One, a two, one, a two, one, a two. Now we do a stationary. Now stationary, my foot comes in and goes back. In and back. For those of you who do salsa, it is not this. It's not a cumbia or a back break. My foot goes back and I engage my glute. One, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, when I do this, I'm bringing my foot in. I send my other one out. In, out, in, my hips twist. Every time it goes back. Five, six, seven together. One, a two, three, four, five, six. Now a whisk. One, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven stationary. One, stationary because we stay in place. Whisk. One, a two, three, four, five, six. Again, stationary. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do that stationary a little different. Forward and back, forward and back. I'm gonna go forward, hook behind. Lunge, hook behind. Lunge, hook behind. And with that, I do my arm on the leg that lunges. So when I say samba lunges, this is what I mean. And I wanna lift my foot and hook it behind the other one. My left my right my left my right lunge boom lunge boom notice how i stay up working my calves 
working my glutes, my quads. So this movement works a lot of parts of the legs. Now, I'll give you a little break. Let's work on flamenco or work on how to move your arms, work your wrists, your forearms, your shoulders, and the stamina and flexibility of those arms. The timing of our feet is gonna be whatever you choose. You don't have to, but to coordinate, just doing that with my heels. And my hips don't go anywhere, so don't do this. So they're quiet. Arms up. This one, I'm gonna face you. And if you're new to this, I like singing badly. So, if you hear me singing, sorry. My hips are slightly moving to the side because I'm shifting weight, not because I'm sending my hip out. So just so you guys know the difference. I'm not trying to make them go to the side. Now above your head. So for those of you who are just starting, my hands swoop in and they open. They swoop the opposite way, they open. Do this at your pace, inward and out. Open, every single movement, you finish with an open action. So again, my hands are above me and behind my head. They're not like this. If this is all you can do, that's fine. So again, from the back, it looks like this. And down. Hands next to you. And in only. And the other side. And above the head. And down. Arms to the side. Keep going, don't stop, leave those arms up. Now some of you want to bring them down already. I do too, but I'm working those arms. Stay there, my shoulders are burning, my wrists are burning. My forearms are burning. And down. All the way down. One in front, one above. Doesn't matter which one, your choice. My right is in front right now and my left is up. Switch hands. And switch. And arms up. Down. The other way. In front. In front. 
front. Front. Front. Last two. And last one. All right. Whew. Let me see where we are in the music. All right, the next two songs are going to work you out. So hang in there. We're going to do swing. Just follow me. Swing has a triple step. One, two, three. One, two, three. So in between, we have triple step. The timing of the music. One, two, three. One, two, three. So this is going to be a little faster. To your right, to your left, to your right. In my movement, one arm goes back, one arm goes forward. And this is because I'm working my torso and twisting. Your lips are moving. I might be up. Now we're gonna do a rock step on either side, with the right, with the left. Arms are optional. Again, that 180, 90. 180, 90. For the triple is 180. For the rock step is 90. The arm that goes up is the leg that goes back. Triple step, rock step, triple step, rock, triple step, rock step, rock step, triple, rock step. Now, only triples. Triple, 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 triple. Too hard to let, baby. Baby, triple step, a triple step, a triple step. Now we're gonna do diagonal, triple, forward, and back. Triple step, so move. If you have a bigger space, you can do four, like this. Three, four, one, three, four, back, one. Two. If you only have a small space, just do two to, you're gonna do four to my two. Or I'll do four to your two. In place. Now, you're gonna do something with me. We're gonna kick here. Kick, back, side, cross. Kick, back, side, cross. Kick. Here we are getting a little bit more into jive action instead of just swing action. One, two, five. One, five. One, five. One, five. One, one. All right. And since those legs are important to get stronger, here's your strengthening action for your knees. Just follow. So let's just start out with squats. I'm gonna do close feet first. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now open. One, two, three. Do it at your pace. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. Lunges, close. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, forward lunges, alternate, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and one extra. All right. You kept up with that? Come to Wednesday. We'll see what you can do. All right. So some of the more funner songs, body isolations, chest pulsations, hip actions, keep up. Gonna go forward and chest. Seven, eight, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Stretch back, stretch back, stretch back. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Go only as low as you can. And down again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, up, five, six, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, last one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, one, two, Three, four, stay up. Uh -huh. Mississippi. Too high. God damn. Two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hip rows. Hit, hit. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Come on, you can do it. Move those hips. You know you know how to do this. Now let's do three. One, two, 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 three. Hip, pulsation, boom, thrusting. Up, down, funk you up. Now let's go here, let's try. To the left, now to the right. Up time, funk you up. Keep, keep thrusting your hips. <laughs> Gotta strut. Jump on it. Come on, hit those hips forward. That means that you're working your core, your glutes, you're squeezing, and you're keeping that rhythm in place. Let's see how you work on your fastest muscles. Let's double time that faster. 
Slow. Now your hips up forward. You're going up. Lift those heels up. Hip pelvis goes forward and up. Now three and one, two, three. 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 Come on. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Very nice. All right. Salsa. Simple. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Nice and slow. Basic. One, five, six, seven. One, five, six, seven. In salsa, we go forward and place back, back and place forward. Forward and place back, back and place forward. And again, we're doing guys timing, so forward with your left, back with your right. If you can switch it in your head, you can do ladies timing, which goes back on one and forward on five. But if you're following me, forward and back. One, five, six, seven, one, side break. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Notice that my merengue action or my bending and straightening is also in salsa. Six, seven. One, two, three. Basic step. Suzy Q. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Suzy Q has a twist. Cross, twist, twist. Cross, twist, twist. Left foot, then the right. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, five, six, seven. Twist, 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 twist. Now in, out, in, out. In, out, Suzy Q. In, out, Suzy Q. In, out. One, two, three, four. One, three, six, seven, one. Last two. Basic. One, six, seven. Now you're gonna touch and lift, touch and lift. So you're gonna lift your foot over the other one. Don't ever dance this way. This is the only step I'm telling you this just for a workout. And one, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. So I do want you to lift your foot up and over. This is the workout part. So you're like you're almost doing a little crunch when you lift that foot. So this is just for workout. Don't dance like this at the club or that you learned it here. This is a salsa timing with working out your core your glute, your leg, and this is just for the workout. One, two, three, basic step. One, notice how when I do my basic, my regular basic, my feet stay close to the floor. Okay, taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, seven. Now we're gonna reach with the arms. Work those shoulders, work that back, work the arms. One, two, three, six, seven. You're at home, so you shouldn't have a problem doing some of this weird stuff. If you think of it weird. Down, reach down, and get down a little bit. Reach up, reach down. Two, three, five, six, seven, reach up. Double tap. One, two, three, five, seven. One, two, three, five, seven. One, two, three, five, seven. One, two, three, five, basic. One, five, six, seven, one. Now we're gonna do a little shimmy, butt shake. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Shake a shake, 
Shake a shake. 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 One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. All right. You guys are, I think, almost done. All right, follow me. Wasn't really thinking, wasn't looking, wasn't searching for, for an, an answer. answer. Now I want to do something where we're going to isolate the hip a little bit. Stay on your right side when and I do hip circles with your right. Stay on the right only. Your hip goes forward, side, and back. Forward, side, and back. Forward, side, and back. Forward, side, and back. And the left. One, two, three, and four. Right. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to do hip lift. Lift, 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 lift. So I'm lifting my hip up to my, my, hip, my shoulder and crunching my obliques. But I'm not moving anywhere. Everything happens here. And what's happening to my hip is it goes up and then it comes back down. Notice how I turn my hip. It goes up and then back and down. Up, down, back. Up, down, back. So notice my hips are still twisting when I'm doing this. My head is staying in place. I'm doing everything with my lower part. Then I thought I could do Everybody, whistle. You know this. And one, two, one, two, one. I feel this all in my obliques, doing a hip lift. Notice that in my hip lift, I lift my heel up. My head stays in the same place, so that means that my lower body is meeting my upper body in the middle, and I'm not doing <laughs> these weird things on the side, okay? Now. I'm going to do a little isolation, chest pulsations, hip actions, but a couple of different things. The first one, chest goes forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side. Now to the left. Hula hoop. Now to the right. And one. And now to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Left to the right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven to the left. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the right. Last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the left. Last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Circles without stopping to the left and to the right again I'm going just my hip sorry just my rib cage to the left now the same thing with the hips forward side back side forward side back side to the left two, two. last one to the right forward side back side forward side to the left last time forward side back side forward side now circles and to the right and keep your knees bent to the left now down up 
down, up, to the left, down, up, down, up, last time, and hip, and twist. Twist, hip. So my feet twist, my hips twist, my top does not. Twist, twist. When I twist, every twist on the leg is here, I squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now, every three. One, two, three. Single. And this is not twist, this is just hip swiveling. And it's just the hips, the feet, and the legs. My upper body stays the same, which means I'm lifting my ribcage up. Now, shoulders up, back, down, forward. Up, back, down, forward. We'll get that later all right you guys have made it through the class now we're gonna do a quick stretch so bear with me we're gonna start again stretching everything that we use our legs our arms our shoulders so head first and side Increase and to the left. Again, take your time. Make sure you're making, taking care of yourself to the right last time. To the left last time. Shoulders back. 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 Now forward. Forward, 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 forward. Reach up and side bend. Big pop, pop. Put your hands in the air if you're a true player. The other side. I love it when you call me Big Pop, pop. I see some people stretching tonight, and it's awesome. It's awesome. All right, the other side, last time. And the other side. You got your crew. Again, you're going to reach forward, fly back, forward, to the other side. Fly back, and the other side. Reach forward, and let's do a circle. And the other way. Come up. Cause I see some ladies tonight that should be having my baby. Baby. Come up. Down. Come up. Do a swan dive. Grab your elbows, swing a little bit. And your knees come up, slowly, 
So let's do that one more time. Swan dive. Grab your elbow, swing a little bit again. Come up, bring your knees. All right, grab your leg, stretch those quads. If you's a true player. Big pop, pop. Uh-oh. Mr. Sawyer is inspecting that I'm standing correct. Today he did a late entrance, but Made me lose my balance. Let's do the same leg in front. He was just laying back, just watching, getting ready to inspect. And let's do the other leg. Grab it behind again. In front. Again, stretch that thigh. I'm going to lower this down so we can continue stretching a little bit. Let's start dancing to this stuff. This stuff is nice. All right, spread your legs about shoulder width or a little bit more. Bring your arms between your legs. You're going to be switching from side to side. Try to keep your back straight. Stretch that lower back. Stretch those thighs, the calves that you've been working today. So again, after any dancing or any kind of uh, workout class, uh, you want to, you know, treat your muscles right. So stretch them out. Make sure that. They get the loving they deserve. Put your hands on the floor. Straighten your feet. Try to straighten your legs. Try to keep your hands on the floor if you can, as much as possible. Stretch those legs, those hamstrings. And come back down. This is a very good exercise for your back and releasing the, the tension in your lower back. So don't miss out on this. And then shifting your weight from side to side like this, really, really, really it feels good and it's good for you. Again, hands on the floor again, stretch up. It's also stretching your back. If you can fit a cap underneath you, you're doing it right. Right, Sawyer? Right. Let's go one leg out, one leg in. You're stretching your whole leg here. Hey. And switch legs. <laughs> you have a cat to hold on to, it's good. Keeps you steady. Bring the foot in again. Get into this position if you need to. Hold your cat like this. Stretch from side to side. Let them go. Come up. Let's do a uh, runner's uh, pose. Again, stretching your leg.
Make sure your cat can fit between or a small dog, small child. So like that, you know you have the right height from the floor to your chest. You can't be a bridge for a cat. You're doing it wrong. Switch legs. Right? Right? This is a good position, senor. Hmm? This is a good position. Yeah, he keeps smacking me in the face with that <laughs> tail. <laughs> and bring your legs together and come up. Again, you can do more stretching at home. Remember, this class happens again on Wednesdays at 7. It is a slightly harder class, or much harder class. Uh, music is a little faster. It's uh, people kind of follow leader just like this one, except I don't explain as much, and I go, 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 go. As you notice, I'm sweating. And I barely did anything, worked out. Um, but um, again, for me, uh, it's for you to try to do your best, and that's all. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you come back. If you want a bigger challenge, come on Wednesday at 7 a little bit more energetic only because I tend to set the bar to I work out and you guys follow um, and again don't be afraid to send uh, any questions that you have at hi at Viva Dance Studio and so like that is as I'm doing my Latin body movement class if you want more explanation on cha-cha on rumba on swing then I will on Mondays I will actually do those things here so if there's a question you have about the class and you want a little bit more explanation on a specific dance that I do or what, what are the steps, the timing, um, and how I do it. So uh, I will, in um, Latin Body Movement Explains, which is on Mondays, I will explain that particular exercise, whether it's samba, salsa, swing, jive, and all that stuff. I've been doing that for all the other videos, so, but don't be afraid to ask a question. Some people might still have a question and might want more explanation too, so. This is what this class is for. Wednesday class is for you to work the butts off and work them to the max. So hopefully you guys come back on Wednesday, try it out. And again, thank you for su supporting Viva Dance Studio. This is a um, donation cast. If you can donate, awesome. If you cannot, don't worry about it. Take the class and have fun and enjoy. Uh, I'm the one teaching this class. I'm one of the owners of Viva Dance Studio uh, alongside with Rebecca Sweet and Parker Amso. Um, and uh, we're just trying to make sure that people um, that we teach and our community, our dance community, stays going uh, strong even during the, this crisis. So thank you guys for supporting. Love you all. <coughs> Soria says goodbye as he licks his fur. He's tired and worked too much. Uh, and then we'll see you on Wednesday. Ciao.